Hi everybody, and welcome to the last weekend of July. Time's going really fast, and it's time for a video. Hello there. Well, I gotta tell you what happened on Friday. I was on my way back from the bank, and as I like to do, when I'm in the car, I during that time of day, I like listening to talk radio. And uh, I only get to listen to about 10 minutes at a time. And, and uh, But um, I get a weird kick out of it. Uh, we have gospel revolutionaries who get a kick out of watching uh, 700 Club too. It's kind of, I guess it's kind of like that. It's like, what are they gonna say next? And um, the, this one guy was on, and I've talked about him before. He's a popular talk show host here in the United States, and he is very religious. And uh, he was talking about freedom. And uh, he said that people would be willing to give up freedom for if they had a a, a good king that was just and merciful. Now, I've seen people give up freedom for things um, like that, but primarily it's because they feel they're going to be secure. It's a sense of security. They'll give up freedom for a sense of security. Well, unfortunately, that's a false sense of security. Um, it reminded me so much of what Harriet Tubman said at least as she's attributed to having said it, she said she could have freed more slaves if she could have convinced them that they were slaves. Well, this guy who said that people would give up some of their freedom for a, a just and a merciful king, I knew where he was going with that because within two sentences after that, he said he likened that king to Jesus. And the problem is, is um, that king did a lot more when it comes to freedom than just be just and merciful. You see, the way this talk show host talked about justice and mercy is they were two different things. See, that's a lowly human kind of justice. It's not a God kind of justice because... God's justice was not a separate thing from his mercy. God's mercy was his justice. And it was for freedom that, that Jesus set us free. Total freedom. The last thing he'd want us to do is give up anything that he gave us. He gave us freedom. Freedom from the law of sin and death. Did more than that too. He made us all equal with each other. He didn't there are no standards. And not only that, he did not subjugate us to him to obey him. He didn't subjugate us to, to be in obedience to him. He set us that free. That was his mercy. That was his kind of justice. And how did he do that? It, he didn't subjugate us. He joined us with his son as co-heirs, joint heirs, seated with him at the right hand of the father. Equal, equal, equal. We are not subjugated to God. That wasn't God's idea of justice. See, until you understand that mercy was God's justice, you're not gonna understand you're a slave to a, a lower standard that he set us free from. And you've enslaved yourself. And if you cannot see that, you're not going to know what freedom is. You're not even going to know what you're talking about. So anyway, that's what I that's what I was listening to. Those were the thoughts that came to me. And the man just couldn't be any more wrong when talking about Jesus being a just and merciful king. And, and giving up freedom for that. That is totally opposite of what the gospel says. That's all I wanted to say, folks. 
Have a revolutionary week. Thank you.